Well, only warning tonight about the importance of checking with your doctor before you take popular over-the-counter vitamin supplements. As Fox Eyes Richard Jacobus shows us, this all comes after a man recently died from taking too much vitamin D. Soaking up vitamin D from the sun or taking D supplements has been linked to promoting a healthy nervous system, healthy teeth, bones, and your immune system. But there are new concerns surrounding supplements and how many you should be taking after an 89-year-old man's cause of death was from taking too much vitamin D. And that's usually because someone is either severely deficient, and so they use very high numbers to supplement, or they're taking it in a supplement that they're not aware exactly how much is in that package or that tablet they're taking. The coroner in the UK said the man had been taking vitamin D for nine months and was admitted into the hospital last year with hypercalcemia, a condition in which calcium levels in the blood are too high. The coroner report claims the packaging didn't make clear the risks of taking too much. When people get a hold of supplements, they don't tend to, to understand what they're putting in their body. Most supplements are not regulated by the FDA. They're, none of them are regulated before they hit the marketplace. Vitamin D toxicity can kill you if too much is taken, according to doctors who claim the supplements have potentially very serious risks and side effects when taken in excess. It can be toxic. So like I always say, test, don't guess. It's important before taking any supplements to get regular blood checkups of lab work. And that will help us determine if you even need a supplement. And we want it ideally above 30 nanograms per milliliter, ideally between 50 to 70. According to the National Institutes of Health Office of Dietary Supplements, manufacturers suggest the dosage, but healthcare providers should always have the final say to each individual patient, especially seniors. It's really important to have somebody like a primary medical doctor, um, someone that you trust as a provider that can give you that information um, and really tell you what things are indicated. Doctors and nutritionists say talk to your own physician about how much vitamin D you should be taking daily and get your sources from foods like salmon, eggs, and mushrooms. But your best source is from the sun. So get outside on the next sunny day. We're in Rye, Richard Chikovas, Fox 5 News. Man, I had no idea. I know, it is, it is pretty wild, yeah. All right, let's go to Nick now for